Here we have a GoPro Hero 3 Black Edition, which I've reviewed pretty extensively in the past. I personally love this little camera and I like filming in the wide field of view. However, this field of view in particular results in what's known as the fisheye effect, and that's not always desirable in all video footage. Welcome to Ifty's Tech Corner, where today we'll be taking a look at how to quickly and easily remove the fisheye effect from your video projects. Now in order to get a larger field of view, or in other words, to get a larger area of the image covered in your video at any one time, some cameras like this GoPro here use a technique resulting in what's known as the fisheye effect. The best way to explain this is to jump straight in and show you an example. Now I've created this short video clip using my GoPro with the wide angle setting. Now on both sides of the shot here, we notice it's more curved than it should be, giving it a more circular effect. Now this is more apparent if I move the playhead here across to this position here. If you take a look at this pole down the side here, we can see it's more circular around the edge of the shot, whereas everything in the middle appears nice and straight. If I skim further along, we'll see that the pole straightens up as it gets towards the middle of the shot. So basically, the more we come out from the center of the image, the more curved the image is. This is what's known as fisheye. Now in some situations, fisheye is a really nice looking effect in video, whereas in other situations, you may want to reduce it as much as you can. You don't particularly notice fisheye in wide open spaces or in the distance, as we can see here. If we look at the trees in the distance, we don't really notice that they're too curved on each side of the shot. But as we saw with the closer post on this side here, you'll notice it much more when trying to use the wide angle setting with closer subjects or in tighter spaces. Now there are a couple of ways to removing fisheye which generally involve tweaking the video until you feel it looks about right. This can involve stretching the image from both sides to try and straighten the circular edges. However, I'm about to show you the quickest and easiest way to remove fisheye using Final Cut Pro on the Mac platform. Now I have my sample video up here and we can see that pole that's circular on the side just there. I'm going to drag my sample video down to my timeline here and over in my effects browser I've got a fisheye removal plugin here which I'll come to in just a second. If we drag and drop that on top of my clip here we can see that straight away within seconds without any rendering or anything at all that pole on the side there is completely straight all the way around so the fisheye has been completely removed. Now to tweak things a little further, you can actually open the inspector here and with the fisheye removal plugin selected, we can scroll down. We've got lots of other options to tweak that even further, but I've not really found that really necessary. The actual default settings really do work pretty well. Here we have the same footage side by side. On the left, we have the original unedited footage, whereas on the right, we have the same footage with the fisheye removal effect applied. You can see an obvious difference, and it literally took me seconds to apply. Now there are a few points to note though. We do lose a little of the image from each corner and side. We can see here that there is more image to the side and bottom of the corner than there is after the effect has been applied. When we apply the effect, what it's doing is stretching the edges of the clip straight. As we can see here, if I move the clip up a little, the effect has stretched the sides and then cropped the video down slightly. That's the trade-off, but you really don't notice it once the fisheye has been applied. And I personally love the look of the clip with the effect applied than without. It does give it a more natural and realistic feel. Getting this plugin is really simple. Just head across to fcpeffects.com where you'll find tons of other really useful effects as well. I personally use a lot of these plugins for various video projects and they all work just as easily and just as effectively. The particular plugin used for the fisheye removal is here and although it does cost a bit, you'll find yourself using it over and over for various projects and scenarios. And there we have it, a quick and easy fisheye effect removal tool. Go try it out and feel free to post your results here as video responses. Let's see what you can come up with. Feel free to leave your thoughts and comments below. In the meantime, why not check out my channel for any related videos and click the logo above to subscribe and be informed of when my next video is released. 
See you next time on Ifti's Tech Corner.